The needle EMG abnormalities can be scored in many different ways. We will illustrate those strategies in this video. Let me start with the needle EMG program. And a list of muscles is displayed. Let's say I want to study the tibialis anterior muscle. So I'll start typing the name of the muscle. And the muscle name matching closest to what I have typed is automatically selected. So I can choose the tibialis anterior muscle and perform my electrodiagnostic study. I can look at the insertional activity, spontaneous activity. We can look at motor unit potentials and I can look at the recruitment at maximal effort. I can score the findings by using the summary tool, which is accessed by the blue square. If the muscle is normal, I don't have to do any changes to this. But if it is abnormal, I can score the findings using the mouse, like this. Or I can also use the left right arrow keys to advance to the next column and the up down arrow keys to make the desired selection. Complete your entry by pushing the enter key. This will allow you to score one muscle at a time and this may be well suited for a very complex needle EMG examination. Let's look at another strategy. Let's consider that a patient has been referred for carpal tunnel syndrome. So rather than searching a large list of muscles, we have created a needle EMG program which contains only those muscles that are likely to be tested in a carpal tunnel study. So I will start the test. And you may find it easier to select the general muscle for examination. We will perform EMG examination in the first muscle. Look at insertional activity. Look at spontaneous activity. Look at motor unit potentials. And then look at the recruitment at maximal effort. Withdraw the needle. Go into another muscle. Once again, we are going to look at the insertional activity. Look at spontaneous activity, look at motor unit potentials, and then go to recruitment at maximal effort. And repeat the process as necessary. Having tested all the muscles, you can stop recording the EMG signals, perhaps take the needle out for the patient comfort. Let us score the EMG findings using the summary table which can be accessed using the blue circle key. We can add muscles to our list. And here is my short list of muscles. I can click on add all, which puts all the muscles into my table. And by default, they are scored as normal. Now looking at the paraspinal muscles, I do not score motor unit potential, amplitude, duration, etc. So we can unscore the findings using the fast unscore button. So we have removed the findings. Let's say on this particular day, I did not study the flexor carpi radialis muscle. I can choose it and remove it. And in abductor pollicis bravis muscle, I had some abnormalities. And I'm done with my EMG scoring. This is a very fast method of scoring all the muscles that you are likely to test for a specific referring condition like a carpal tunnel or radiculopathy. You can order the muscle list in a way that you like perhaps starting from proximal to distal or by root. And it makes inputting the needle EMG findings much easier. The list of muscles within the needle EMG programs can be configured by the user. And this is described in a separate video. Having scored the findings, I can click on done to exit 
the EMG scoring table. Sometimes you may want to combine both strategies, that is choose the muscles that are within your list, or if you study a different muscle that you commonly don't evaluate, you can always go to new muscle and look at the master muscle list. The muscles that you have already studied are shown in red color. And let's say if I wanted to look at infraspinatus in this particular case, I can just start typing the name of the muscle. Here it is. I can select it and score this muscle individually. So to summarize, you can score one muscle at a time. You can make muscle lists and score all of them together in the summary table. Or in very complex studies, you can use a combination of muscle list and individual muscles as appropriate.